What have you done, boys? The hell with you, Joe. Why would not send so simple? Pulled up there, coming up this morning. Not a good start, that's it. Yeah, the crows are on our eyes picked out. Fake it. Yeah, shake it in there. Where's her lambs now is the question. Um, yeah, these things happen in farming. You gotta deal with it. Happens to everyone. So, um, I just need to take her number now. And she's gonna get sinned off to the neck rate. They're gonna come and collect them, collect her. And so, yeah, we're gonna have lasses. But it's a pity. I'm good. So needs, she needs to be taken to the neck rate. So, I need to carry her to Nacre. So, it costs 50 euro to send her away, but she has two lambs that I need to catch over the fields, which is going to be great fun now trying to catch them, but this is farm life. Good morning and welcome back. So, my last video there, what I was telling people about uh, that we don't creep feed lambs when they're with the oars. Um, a lot of people are saying I was crazy that I didn't do to maybe a few batches, especially with the amount of lambs are there. So what I'm going to do out do is I'm going to do a trial. So I'm going to Kinmare now into the into the co-op to get a few bags of creep feed for the lambs. Um, so I have a creep feeder I can pull with the quad at home, and so I'll just get a few bags to test it out, and if it goes well there over the next few days. I'll order a couple of ton because <coughs> there's one field here there's a hundred and there's 110 lambs it would be interesting to see because we've never crab fed lambs before only we fed them loads when they were after they were weighing but not when they were with the yaws so might just try it out because there's 110 lambs in this one field and there's also a field nearby that are a similar age that are twins so in like in a couple of weeks or months time if I was creep feeding these it would be good to compare the weights to see what's the benefits of creep feeding it and also add up the cost because creep feed for lambs is very expensive and also like if you grass if they're nip you away in the grass would you be mad to be creep feeding as well but a lot of people are saying they do and they don't some people are saying the creep feed is the only job to get lambs away very quick um, but we're not stuck in grass, but it is more a trial. I'd like to try it out. I only got a handful of bags there just to keep me going. Um, so what I might do is, if this is nice sweet stuff, so if they like it now, I might get a order alone and fill the meal bin outside in the yard there, maybe with a couple of ton. See how we go, though. Um, yeah, so. Back. Right, we have it, we have it, I know, and yeah, ready to go. So I have it down here in the field now. I'm just going to set it up probably in the center here at the moment because so lambs will see it and get used to it. And then after a while, I might put it into a corner. Some creep feed now into the feeder. So open up this now. So, um, it goes both sides, this side and this left and right. I have three bags in there now, it would take four, maybe even five, but that's what I had, so. 
You just close the lid down and there's a lock here on both sides. in the bottom are a lot bigger so I turned it upside down so hopefully the lambs will be able to go through so I'll start I'll start eat up a bit more there and so the hurls are all around the lambs can't even come through there so I'm hoping the lambs will be able to come into this space here it might work but let me know what you think of it, because I'm pretty new to pre feeding. As I said, we don't pre feed. So, and I'm so, the hurls are all around. The lambs can't even come through there. So, I'm hoping the lambs will be able to go into this space here. It mightn't work, but let me know what you think of it, because I'm pretty new to pre feeding. As I said, we don't pre feed. Roaches feed here, delivering some lamb fattening nut. I rang them Friday, it's Monday morning now and they're here straight away, so fair play to them. So I'll show you, it's, a, it's going into this meal bin here. So it's a nice, fine, light pellet. As you can see here, lovely, lovely small pellets. And the lambs will, will definitely find this a lot easier to eat than a bigger nut. So um, we'll start on this. This is just to get their size up and once they'll be kind of in the last few weeks then before they'll be sent away they'll be on a, a lamb right good lamb fattening nut but um this is just to push them on out for the moment to get their size up it's 18.7 percent protein but it'll do them fine so we're here fixing up the boat keith my friend here is giving me a hand he's a very handy man around the place and there right, keith so we got the bo we got the boat started. The battery here was completely eroded, so that's goosed. And we just had a spare battery off one of the quads that my father broke. We got a spare battery, so that's working for the moment. Don't leave your father drive it because he might turn it over. The father might turn it over, is right. <laughs> and he can swim, so we'll keep the father away from the boat, I suppose. But the boat is fairly clean. It's just a bit. It's only all mold dirt. Like there's no. There's no tears in it or nothing. Um, but so yeah, we want to get it out in the water now in the next few weeks. And the, the big job on it is the wheels. Like I said before, the, when I was bringing it out last time, the wheels fell off it. So um, we got new wheels for it and tires. And they're the old ones there. They're screwed. And these need to be welded on. We took these off a different trailer. So these brackets need to be welded on. We're going to cut this off. Um, away we'll go, and we're going to leave it in Kinmare Pier then. Um, tied up there, so, so hopefully we'll get good weather all over the summer. So we have it started now, with fresh water going through it here. The engine, in fairness, is spotless. Um, so we just change new petrol. All the dials are working. Um, give it a bit of revs there. Yeah, everything seems to be in order. This needs a good clean on, and we'll be ready to go. YouTube, what's that? What is it? What is it? So, thanks for watching another video, and hopefully, this creep feeding will make me lots and lots of money. <laughs> I very much doubt it, but any tips you see me doing wrong, or anything you see me doing wrong, send me any tips there in the comments, because always looking at ways to improve here on the farm, and like, I'm obviously still young, and I'm learning, like, uh, I, I've my father at least to go off for a good bit of advice, but um, the more 
the more um, advice you get off people, the more wisdom, it'd be great. So, see you for the next video. What have you done, boys? The hell with you, Joe. Why would not send so simple? Man, Whoa. easy.